hello everyone welcome back to my channel today you're probably like why does she have one eye with eyeshadow and the other one without anything on it well that's because today we are reviewing the city mini palette by shayla it's the shayla mitchell collab um if you pretty sure everyone knows makeup shayla and she has a city mini palette she has a palette collab with maybelline this is how it looks i've already swatched it as you can see and this is a close up of it and the colors are so pretty um just off opening it up i was like yes i love these colors they're perfect for fall they're just perfect for a smoky eye look and also i did get the I did get the mascara by her. This is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. Um, and it has like her branding, her name, and different things on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Right on my right eye here, I have used the palette. Um, I use pretty much every color in it. With the exception of... Did I use every color? Oh, no. So, yes, I use every color in this palette. And as you can see, I'm going for a purple look today. I have a purple background because of this color right here. And yes, yeah, so we're just going to get in, right into this look. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this eye on camera and then do my foundation and everything off. Other eye, I've already, um, I've already done my eyebrow, filled it in, concealed. I put a little bit of concealer on my lid and I set it with the Sasha Buttercup powder. Just so these shadows, I think, could apply better. I did not use a primer. Um, primers also work very well. I just personally did not use one. So right underneath my brow bone, we're going to be taking this color right here. It's like a very, yeah, it's like a nude base color. And I'm just going to be tapping in it very lightly with my brush here. This is just a travel brush from Sephora. No, it's a travel brush from Ulta. And it pretty much blends right in with my skin tone. So you more than likely won't be able to see it. But it is just giving me a little more definition underneath my brow. Okay, now that I have that done. What I did on this, I was, I didn't really... I didn't really follow a specific order of things. I just kind of just started putting it on my eye and I was like, okay, we're just going to go with it. But what I did next with this angled brush here, I took this like brown color right there. Well, hold on. This brown color right here. And you have to tap, you have to tap into this palette lightly because it is very pigmented, especially for a drugstore um, eyeshadow. And I love Maybelline products anyway, but yes, it is very pigmented. So I just went right in here and as you can see it picks up really well and what I did was I just put that kind of um, a little bit above my crease and I'm going to just keep working it in um, until it's blended to how I want it to be blended. So. Because I don't have much of a my lid to crease ratio is not that big so i always kind of overlap it a little bit so i'm not the best makeup person um i don't feel like feel like i'm a professional in any aspect nor do i really do makeup for anyone else um, i'm planning on probably doing my sister's makeup one day but yeah, I just, it's not my level of comfort zone, if you get what I'm saying. Like, this is not my. Okay, we have that kind of blended out pretty good. Um, Because we can, you can always go back and re-blend stuff. Okay, so after I took, put that color there, then I took this, it's kind of like a flat shading brush but it's not really flat it's kind of a little fluffy and I just went into the, the black 
color right here very soft with it on my lid and I'm just gonna put this right on the lid I'm trying to move my phone out the way so you can see I'm about to say where's my black gap out I was on <laughs> I was on the wrong side of the brush and we're just gonna be putting it like right on the lid and that's it I mean if if it goes into the brown that's perfectly fine because at the end of the day all of this will be blended together and we go into that black just a little bit more and what I'm wanting to give is more of a smoky eye with like a hint of purple because I'm gonna put purple on my lips so I don't want purple I don't want it doing too too much okay and we are done with it now we're going to take my favorite color this purple color here we're going to take that and i'm using a, a ankle brush this is by elf this is the defining eye brush and using this color tapping in it and what i'm going to do with it, i'm going to kind of create kind of a halo effect in the middle of the um in the in the middle of my lid so I'm just gonna concentrate that color right here in the center of my lid now this is the color you want it to you want it to kind of overshadow the black a little bit so you're gonna really want to work it in and blending as you work it in And um, as far as these colors, there's not really any fallout, um, not much at all. What I, I just like to not have so much product on my brush, so I do blow on it right before I apply it. That's just a habit of mine. It's not because it's any fallout. As you can see, I don't really have anything on my cheek there, so it's not much fallout, which is definitely a plus. This palette is a really good palette as far as the affordability of it and you can get it pretty much anywhere I know I, I ordered mine off also just because I planned to do this video way 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 back when it released and I just had so many other I had so many other videos that I I felt like took precedence over it because I wasn't trying to do a makeup video just yet so that's why I'm just now doing it I know you're probably like girl you are late with this but I mean hey this palette, like I said, it does real good. And I'm going to just touch up a little bit on this eye. Just because I feel like this one is trying to overshadow this one a little bit. And we can't have that going on. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so I think I've built that up enough. Um, I'm going to go... I need to figure out what has fallen. Color again and just... Go back in a little bit with it just to really bring it back because it did get lost a little bit from the other colors so okay and just in my inner corner normally i do this after i'm finished with my makeup so i probably will go back in and touch it up a little bit but just to keep everything cohesive with this one i did you mix this gold and that gold right there. I mix both of them together right here in the inner corner. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on my left eye. So I'm just tapping in both of them. And we just like, I just want to tap that right there in the inner corner. Um, it is kind of like a yellow gold. One of them has a little more glitter in it. I actually think it could be used as a highlight. I think, um, Someone used it as the highlighter, or would this Shayla use it as a highlighter on her video? I'm not sure, but yep.
Okay, and what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use a baby wipe or a baker wipe just to get that sharp corner kind of that I have here. And I'll be back when I have my full face on. So, just hold on one minute. Okay, I am back now. I have put my foundation on. I did conceal a little bit underneath my eyes, but not too much. And I just did like a little strobing method on my cheeks because I didn't want to contour today. So, now I'm just making sure everything is all blended out. And I contour like down my nose just a little bit. But yeah, um, basically what I did, just because I don't own a lot of pencils or liners, I'm just using my Nika K in the color Clairvoyant. And this is like $1.99 at the beauty supply store. And I also have this um, NK Lip Shine in the color Woody Brown. So either one of these colors would, um, any one, either one of these would work to line my lips. Now um, what I want to do is, just before I get into the unboxing, I want to go through and highlight. So I'm using the Anastasia's Glow Kit uh, first. I did do my makeup with Maybelline, so I use Fit Me on my face, and I've already put the, some of the um, Colossal Big Shot mascara on because this today is going to be like a no lashes video, just because I'm not the great with putting my lashes on, and I rather for someone else to put them on for me. I know I'm going to get better, but as of now, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, just underneath my brow bone, I'm going to use the color, I think it's Sunburst. Yeah. I'm going to use Sunburst right there below. I'm just going to use the color Sunburst right underneath my brow bone. And I'm just using this flat brush. And I'm just tapping in it. Because it can get a little bit too bright for me. So, again, just blowing it off any excess. I'm just putting it right underneath my brow bone. So. And when you put this underneath your brow bone, you only want to concentrate it on the very end. You don't want to go from here to here. Just right there. Just give yourself a subtle highlight underneath the brow. And I'm going to do the same on the next one. I'm just using the same brush that I used to um, put the brow bone shadow from the palette underneath. Just using it to make sure it's all blended out. And I have that all completed. Now I'm going to go in with this brush. It's the foundation brush by Royal and Lang Nickel. It's just a purple brush. I got this, I think, from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or anything. And I'm going to use, I'm going to mix the colors Bubbly and Dripping in Gold. For my cheek highlight and down my nose. And I don't want to be too glowy, so what I do is flip my brush on the other side, make sure there's no product on it, and I do go over that highlight just because I don't want to be like bam in your face highlight. And I put like a little bit right here on my forehead. And right above my contour areas. Now 
right before we get into my lipstick choice for the day, besides my liner, I do want to show you all the box that I received from Influencer. And it's the Color Sensational Matte Metallics Lipsticks. It has Influencer on this side and it right here. And this is my I started using the Influencer app. So I was very pleased that just from being on there for like a month and a half, I was already receiving a box. This is um the Maybelline Vox box is what it's called. And it comes with this little card on the inside. And excuse mine because it's a little bent up. And I said, oh, this is so pretty. I love how to use the pretty brown black girl right here. I thought that was really nice. And on this side, it basically just gives you information on it. And it shows different swatches right here. And it shows all of the colors that they have. I received two colors from them. This is just another look at the card. And um, the inside of the box has like I put I inside the box has this gold tissue paper. I just put mine back in there like so, but it did come with like a, a lot of gold tissue paper in it. And inside my box, I had two lipsticks. This is how they look. I got the color 978 and 970. 978 is this smoked smoked silver color and 970 is molten bronze and that's how they look i will do a little swatch for you all this is the color smoked silver which is the color i'm going to be using today on my lips and i'm just swiping it across my my hand the palm of my hand and that's that color and it's a smoke silver color, but it comes off to me. It's like a smoky purple look, which is perfect for the look I'm going for today. And also the next color is molten bronze. And that's how that color looks. And I thought these were both very pretty colors. And today we're going for smoked silver. And I'm just going to apply that to my lip. And when I'm done with it, I'm going over what I line just because I want to get want it all to blend together. And this lipstick is so pigmented. I did receive this lipstick complimentary from Influencer, so I did not pay for it. I received it for testing purposes. And look at that. Isn't that just so pretty? I love this lipstick. And I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that you think will be interested in me. Let me know below if you like this, if you want to see more eyeshadow palette looks from me. And I'm going to sign off right now. I will insert pictures after this. Thank you for watching.